Day, Day 12 of Invasion. This okay. is the 19 years old female red ear slider. Okay, she came in with a complaint that she had lost appetite. She ate sometimes and did eat sometimes. So the owner was very worried because she was doing that for over one to two months. And uh, it never happened before. Now this red ear slider lays eggs twice a year in the water. And uh, the last time she laid eggs was around December, November, December, which is about three months ago. And after that, in December, the owner feed her those live fishes from the pet shop as a treat for about seven days. These live fishes might be having parasites or, or disease. So after that, you notice that uh, this red ear slider stops eating or has lost appetite now. And also the side there, the two sides were bulging out where my, my assistant shows the finger and it was like bloated, he says. But now, like you see today, it's okay, yeah? Then, uh, like, like, like coming out of the skin. So you notice that this, this is abnormal. So when I press it that, that time, 12 days ago, there was some pain and the red ear slider actually wanted to bite me. But now today, we can, you can see that there is no pain. Is there any more, any more bulging out? Any more blo bloating? No, nothing. No more already today. The other side? There is, uh, there's a bit, but that is normal. That one is due to the, the red ear side that was quite fat last time and now has lost a lot of weight. What's the weight today? 1.35. How about the day it came in? 1.4. So didn't lose much because we have been strange feeding. Now you can see it's very thin. Huh? You can see the neck area, there's no, 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 no fat. Okay, put down and see whether you can walk or not. Eh? Now, when she came in 12 days ago, she was very lethargic. And that's the main complaint. And she wasn't really interested even in walking. Do we have any video of the first day? No. No, we did the x-ray. Okay. So, we show the x-ray. Now, the x-ray just show that there is some radio dense material inside the abdomen. And we uh, can see from the... Letra view, letra view, you can see that you can see almost full. Only the, the lungs is, is this normal black color, and there seems to be constipation in the backside. You can see that uh, there's a lot of radio dense thing inside the intestines. So we give laxative, uh, antibiotics injection and uh, syringe feeding critical care and pellets and multivitamins and as you can see today definitely she looks very much uh, alert and walking about okay we turn upside down and see whether she can turn herself upright and up before we can send her home well not as active as to be expected but i think she would uh, now you can see from compared to the previous video within less than one minute she turns up again that's a good sign that means she can go home right tomorrow okay now we will try to put her in the water and we will give her uh, first of all with the pellets first yeah this is the neutrophil which she used to be eating for the past years okay how many pieces are there how many pellets Five. As you can see, there's no interest in it. Huh? Wait first. So we just wait a while. Then we will give one piece of meat. It's called K980. This side, come this side, come this side, come to the other side. We will bring her over first. Bring her, bring her over to this side. To this side, so that we don't mix with the. Okay, now we we we'll test with this. Of course, nearer to her. Not so far away. Too far away. No, let us put, put her nearer to it. Now you can see she really has an interest in meat. Huh? So, one more. She's eaten how many pieces already? Three pieces. 
three pieces already. Now this is a uh, coal we put in the fridge and make it into a ball. Uh. It's actually canine and feline AD, the therapeutic diet from Hills. Uh. And okay, now we, we feed her with, with a pellet inside and she doesn't know it, she, she also add it. Uh. So that's good because she will eat the pellets but we, we have to hide inside the AD, uh, the meat. And uh, there's one more, wait, wait, there's one more there on top here. Just push that one nearer. Don't use a hand, use a spoon. So she actually has good appetite, but not for the neutrophin. Eh. So we will ask the owner to bring back and uh, and uh, feed him. The owner actually in intended to put him here for put her here for another few days. Uh. Uh, now she also eat the pellets. Is it there? That is good news. So she should be able to put on weight already. Uh, so we will try to feed her as much as we can. Now it's about 5.30 p.m. Thursday evening. The pellets first, pellets. Pellets again. They, these are usual pellets, the neutrophin. So very hungry. For the last 12 days, it has not been eating. Use a spoon. Yeah. So... Quite close because too far away, they can't see or what. Yeah, so we just give even even pellets she will eat also so we try the pellets also yeah. so as soon as the red yes they can eat we, we don't want to keep it here we will send it home already so that the owner can continue nursing it yeah. We do send a video clip to the owner to to, uh, to show as evidence that the appetite has returned back, back 100% and uh, she should be able to lead a normal life and so there should be no more abnormal food given to her like for example uh, live fishes and all this you know, because it might have upset the stomach or the intestines huh? and uh, this is an example of a good outcome of inpatient treatment without syringe feeding this radio slider will have died of malnutrition so to apply your best do provide inpatient treatment for radio sliders I shall stop now we'll call the owner and ask him to bring him back bring her back tomorrow